Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Nails and Creative Creations, and today I am taking part in a He is Risen Easter Hop, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in just a couple of minutes, so let's just get right into this. Okay, for this first um, project that I'm doing today, I went out to my garage and I just took a 2x4 and cut it into three different pieces, a longer a little bit bigger, I mean a little bit smaller, and then a, even a smaller one. And right here I'm just taking my sanding block and I'm just uh, smoothing out all of the edges from my miter saw. It left a bunch of rough areas, so I'm just going to trim those up and I'm taking my little ladybug uh, vacuum cleaner and I'm just going to vacuum them all up. Now, I took some green um, paint that I mixed up a couple of months ago and then some blue mixed that together and decided I wanted it lighter so I started mixing it and I ended up adding more white because I just wanted a lighter color so I'm painting just the front this and the ends and the sides now I'm only doing one coat this gives you perfect coverage you don't need a second coat so I'm just getting those all painted and I ended up making don't know how I ended up making the exact amount of paint that I needed I didn't need any more which was really quite surprising but while I'm wa while you're watching me do this don't forget to at the end when you're done go down to the description box down there I'm gonna have a link to the next person in the hop as well as a lot of different information of everybody's all of the different people that is in the hop their um, channel links and here I am I dried it and then I took a little piece of 120 grit sandpaper and kind of roughed up all the edges so it wasn't so pristine and um, I'm just getting those all just kind of going down to the bare wood on on some of them now, I just got a Cricut a couple of weeks ago, and I ended up making the words for this, and we're going to put on this. Now, I do show you how I actually applied it, which I'm surprised I did so well, but I um, put it on this, uh, like a turquoise um, color, and I thought that it looked really good for this blue. So, I'm just burnishing the back so I can take the backing the back paper off of it and you know me with my long nails I need help getting picking up pieces like that so I just use my little uh, tool from Cricut and um, I'm just pulling the backing paper as well as I'm weeding it at the same time so that when I place it down on the wood that um, all I have to do is burnish it and it will be stuck on there and as you can tell the word that is going to be on the big one is going to be risen. So here I am just uh, getting those last little pieces out of the um, letters. And there was only the two in this one, and the R and then the N. And then I just center it over that block, and I just stick it down. And then I'm going to use my little scraper and get it all um, hooked on there, and then I'm pulling the transfer tape right off of there. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do the same thing with the other ones, and um, I know I'll get better at, <laughs> at these details, but it will come. So as you can tell, this is going to be He is Risen, and so I'm just doing the exact same thing that I did on the other part and just getting that all off that one I didn't wasn't able to weed it while it was on the there so I just put it down and then I'm going to uh, burnish it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, pull it off and then I'll weed anything that is left on there and it looks like just a little bit was left actually no I was able to get it all off so that's good and then um, I am um, fighting with the, <laughs> the vinyl and getting it off the, the um, transfer tape so I can save that transfer tape. 
and get there was a little piece left so I had to grab that off of there and then I'll grab the next one and of course the next word is he so I'm just burnishing that and then I will get it all pulled and applied on there I really am enjoying my Cricut I've wanted one for so many years and I ended up getting the Explore Air 2 and I love it so here I'm doing the same thing I'm going to burnish it and then I'm going to um, pull the the contact paper off and I'm still getting my technique down what works for me the best if it be the contact paper or or hot first or weed it first or however I'll end up doing it so now I'm going to get my um, little weeding tool actually I'm going to see if I can just pull that vinyl off and it looks like I was able to get all of it off awesome okay now I'm going to burnish it to make sure it's down so now I'm going to grab my um, Mod Podge and I am a, a plaid ambassador so definitely go down to my description box and you can click on my link tree and you will find my um, link to all of this different stuff that I have on my Amazon storefront so here it is all done and I hope you guys really enjoyed this I really loved making this I've been wanting to make one for a very very long time Okay, this is the He is Risen Easter Hop, and there is eight of us that is taking part in it, and it is Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY, Becky from Simply Becky, Brenda from Moner's Market, Dee from Designer's Loft, Jackie from A Dollar Tree Mimi's World, and Jackie from Jackie Burns Creations, and Leah from The Junker Knicker. Now, I want you to know we have given this $150 gift card giveaway. The drawing's going to be this Saturday. Now, to get, um, if you stick around to the very end of the video, I'm going to let you know how you can enter into that giveaway. So, just sit back, relax, and let's enjoy this video and we'll get right to that at the very very end of the video and we can just see what we have to do okay with project number two I was look I was downstairs in my basement and I looked up on these shelves and I saw there was a piece of wood sitting up there I went up and I pulled it down and it's plywood with beadboard like hooked to the back perfect size I knew exactly what I was going to do so what I'm doing here is I'm just using my white acrylic paint and I'm just painting over the whole entire surface and this is the back we're going to be painting and I only do like one coat because I'm going to be painting and doing some different stuff on top of this so I'm just going to get this all completely covered and then um, I lost the footage of me um, applying the, my Cricut uh, lettering and we'll get to that in just a couple of minutes but I just wanted you to know that's why it's not there I lost the footage of it but um, at the very end I had a little bit of paint left and I always pick it up and put it back in the bottle I've conserved paint really well so um, once I got that all painted I went ahead and I used my heat gun on it and I dried it and I sat, then I took um, my chippy brush and some black and I just dry brushed it over this surface because I just, I wanted to like dirty it up. I don't want it to be pristine. So after that, then I grabbed um, six or a bunch of the dowels from the Dollar Tree and I am um, painting them a green. I think this is like a sage green, really beautiful color. But I'm going ahead and I'm painting them and I'm just rolling them and painting on the um, pieces that maybe I've missed um, on there and then I just kind of roll them around 
make sure they get all covered and um, then I there's two little pieces that I had cut because I I measured around and I needed it and then they ended up not being the right size so here I am using my miter shears it makes it very easy with my hands because I have uh, tendonitis in my hands it's very easy to use so here I am just uh, gluing with hot glue those dowels onto the um, the edging this is going to be like my border and I just roll it into it that way I know I'm getting it right and then when I'm done with these I go ahead and I put the little pieces up to it and I mark them and see how much I have to cut off and then I do the same thing I put the glue down and I roll it right into it so that um, it fits perfectly and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so that I can make sure that I get this done Easter time is a very very special time for me so I really am glad that I was able to join in this hop and um, let's just see what else I end up making okay so there's my wording I completely missed getting that on there I must have shut my video my recording off and forgot to put it back on now I'm taking some uh, burnt umber and I'm just kind of dry racing well not dry racing I'm kind of dry brushing it in in effect I'm kind of trying to I'm making a, a, like a landscape um, hill and I'm just um, kind of not really covering it really good and then I'm going to take some uh, black and some white and I'm going to mix um, some gray and I'm going to um, put in uh, clouds. And I got way too much white so I had to pick some of it up. Um, that white comes out really fast so I needed a lighter gray and here I am I'm just um, putting in some uh, clouds. It just meant, I don't know, when you read the Bible and you see what happened up on Hill Gomorrah uh, the clouds, the dark clouds rolled in and uh, it is and he said, Jesus said, it is finished. This is to me very, very special. Brings tears to my eyes when I, when I think of it because I'm so thankful and grateful for what Jesus did for us on that cross. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and then in just a moment when I'm finished, we will get to the third one and now this one was a little eh, I was a little afraid to do it but I was determined to do it when I moved into my house um, there was a lot of stuff left in the basement and um, I found a bundle and a wreath of uh, bob barbed wire so that's what I'm going to be using in the next one but I'm just putting some uh, jute on the back so that I can hang it up and I'm going to put a uh, some uh, little pieces of felt on there just to kind of stabilize it a little bit more and I'm probably going to go back in and use my uh, staple gun to even make it even more stable because I don't want to lose lose it at all so I hope you guys like this one okay let's get right into this third one um, like I said before I had a big bundle of barbed wire and as you can tell um, I'm going to be picking out some of the pieces and I'm going to make a crown of thorns. So while um, we're watching this, I will give you the in information that um, you are going to need. First of all, when you're done watching this, you're going to need to go down to the description box. But before you do that, leave me a comment. If you want to be entered into the, the drawing, you need to leave a comment in the comment section and what I need you to write to comment on is if you would just leave me a few words about what your Easter traditions and you can even put them in parentheses and that would make it even easier for me to see them because I want everyone to have a chance to be in the drawing but just your Easter traditions would be great and then go into the description box and click on the hop 
link and that will link will hop you right on over to the next creator um, in the hop and you don't forget they will be giving you instructions too you want to make sure you follow them so that you can be entered in that $150 gift um, card giveaway which the drawing will be this Saturday so as you can see I am just manhandling this barbed wire and luckily I didn't get poked I didn't get no injuries or anything and I just kept kind of bending it and wrapping it around uh, using my no needle nose pliers and I was just prying it around there making sure that it was um, as round as I could get it now it wasn't perfect and that's okay I don't think the real crown of thorns was very perfect either it was just very dangerous and very pokey so I ended up I think I used six different pieces of barbed wire and um, I'm just like I said I'm using my mat and my table to push it down to help get it in that circle but it ended up being awesome and I've actually at the end you'll see where I've, I have to have it displayed in my uh, living room I actually have got it hanging on the cross that I made um, in a collaboration that I did last month that was a uh, tumble for you and um, I made a cross out of the tumbling block so there is the crown of thorns and here's a, uh, another quick shot of each one of my uh, projects and don't forget to um, also hit subscribe and um, the notification bell and give me a big thumbs up and just remember today be the Bible somebody reads and you guys have a blessed week bye bye